Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Carlo Ancelotti's held his press conference ahead of tomorrow's FA Cup quarter final against Manchester City at Goodison Park. And it's it's not good news, really. Robin Olsen will miss the game. There have been pictures of him training, but Carlo confirmed that he will not be available for this game. And Jal Virginia, who obviously came on against Burnley, will, con will be continue in goal for this game. Um which is not great, is it? <laughs> After we lost Jordan Pickford last week, uh, Robin Olsen continues to be out and it will be fall on to Jal Virginia to uh, try and stop Manchester City, um, which isn't great, but it is what it is and we'll have to just get on with it. Uh, Jal has been at the club for a few years and obviously signed a new contract this year um, and we just have to get on with it. They obviously got high hopes for the player and hopefully he can fulfil the first part of that in this game tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, obviously, the manager confirmed as well that Hamas Rodriguez will continue um, his absence and miss this game, although we will be back for the Crystal Palace game in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, the manager said that Yeri Mina is 100% fit for this game, so that's good news. Um, and obviously, to have another centre defender back, probably, probably maybe our best centre defender, that's really good news. It'd be interesting to see where he starts the game. Um, we also seen images of Gilfie Sigurdsson training as well. So hopefully he'll be uh, available for this one. This is Toffee TV and we've got a new game called Toffee Picks. Get over to toffeepicks.com now to play. We have got a guaranteed prize pot of £500 that we'll be giving away every game. We'll ask you some questions about this week's game. See you answered the most right. And you could win a share of £500. Don't forget, it's free, but you have to be over 18. Terms and conditions apply. Play responsibly. We'll be playing a game every week on our new Toffee Picks show over on our YouTube channel. Can you beat us? We'll see you in the game. The other bit of good news was Everton revealed that uh, John Philippe Gabamon is back in training. There was actually video and uh, photos of the player training at Finch Farm, which hasn't been seen for a very long time. And the manager confirmed that he's doing individual sessions, but he should be back next week with the first team. Now, listen, I know we've heard this kind of thing before, but we haven't seen images of, of the player training. So hopefully, fingers crossed, the player... We'll start training next week with the fair team. I know they are still taking it um, easy with the player and there's no pressure on the player to play for a while, I don't think so. But it would be really, really good if he's back. And it just gives everyone that little bit of optimism because obviously Abdelai Decore will be out for the foreseeable future. The, the manager even said today um, that he will be. there will be a bit of a wait for the player and the player is still wearing a boot. He can't put this foot down to train Um which it doesn't stop them training. We've seen with Luca Dean when he done his ankle, he still continues to train, um, but obviously not using the foot where the problem is. So the core probably will be out for probably the whole of the season. Let's be honest. And if there's a chance that we could get Jean Philippe Gabamon back for a few games, just for I think the fact to see him and for him to have that little bit of that little bit of positivity in his life that he gets to play a few games for Everton this season whether it be on the bench or play for the under-23s, so that next season he gets to have a proper pre-season and comes back and can start his Everton career properly, um, which would just be a huge bonus wouldn't it, for him and for the team to have that kind of player. The kind of player that we you know, we signed is, is the kind of player we need now in the team. Now, I, there's not going to be a rush with the play, we know that for a fact, so... Um, We'll just have to wait and see what happens. So there you go. This has been the Everton News Daily. Um, there isn't any other news out there apart from the injury news today. So, um, yeah, let's see what happens tomorrow. Half five kickoff, of course. Uh, I'll be doing all the team news at half four here on YouTube. If you want to uh, catch me doing that, if you need all the latest team news, don't forget, give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to jo join our new Toffee Picks game. It's completely free. All you have to do is answer 12 questions, predict the question on tomorrow's game with a, for a chance to win uh, or a prize pot of £500. So uh, make sure you get involved in that, toffeepicks.com.
The link is in the description. Thanks for watching. See you later.